Math 106, Module 6.5, Volume and Surface Area. So in this particular module, I just want to focus on volume of one of the following five geometric figures. So let me kind of define volume real quick. So volume is basically the measure of, of um, space. Sorry, that's a, mis that's a typo right there. It's a volume of space. Okay, enclosed by a three-dimensional figure and is always measured in cubic units. Okay, so generally speaking, to find the volume, we're just going to take the area of the base then times the height. So your five basic geometric um, solid is either you can have a prism. So this rectangular solid is also called a prism. That's the more proper way of saying it. Uh, it's called a rectangular prism is because the base is a rectangle. So if my base is a square, I can call it a square prism. So it all depends on what the base is. Because in order to find the volume, all I need to do is find out what the area of the base is, then times how tall it is. All right. So pyramids, again, most of the time think, uh, people think about pyramid as using a square base. I can use a triangle base or a rectangle base. So for pyramids, okay, it's always going to be one third times area of the base, whatever that base is, find the area, then times the actual height of the pyramid. Okay, pyramids basically um, is where all sides come to a single point on top. It's called the apex. Okay, that's how I know that is a <clears throat> that is considered as a pyramid. Okay, because I got a single point on top. Most of the time, prism has two bases, one on top, one in the bottom. But pyramid and cones only has one base. Okay, because it all all sides, you know, always come to a single point on the top. So, so for um, for pyramid, sorry, I'm gonna erase this real quick. It's always gonna be one third. Sorry about that. It's one third always in the front times the area of the base, then times the height, okay? All right, so for a cone, since, since we call it a circular cone, that means the only base is a circle. So all I have to do is take the one-third times the area of the circle base, which is always going to be pi r squared, area of the base, then times the height, all right? Cylinder, okay, right circular cylinder. Okay, again, only have circle for base. And cylinder has two bases, one on top, one in the bottom. So my formula would just simply be pi r squared, area of the base, then times the height. All right, sphere is always going to be four-third times pi times radius raised into the third power. Okay, so pyramid and prison is based on, you know, the name of them is based on what the base is. Okay, that's why this particular prism is called a rectangular prism because the base is a rectangle. All right. So um, some of these ha um, has the word right in front of it. The word right means right angle where the height and the base always creates a right angle. As a matter of fact, that's, that's also going to be true for pyramids and for prisms. Okay, where the height and the base is always perpendicular. All right, it just for pyramid and cone, the height is actually always going to be from the apex, go straight down to the center. Okay, of the base, that's actually the height. The height on the outside. Okay, those are called the slender height, which we are not really going to introduce here. All right, so make sure you know, make sure you're aware of the height is always perpendicular to the bases and the height for cone and pyramid is always right there in the center from the apex to the center of the base all right so let's just try some example here and we're gonna um, play with our formula here so this is a pyramid because all sides come to a single point on top and i'm using um, polygon for base okay cone is only using circle for base so by looking at dimension of our base this, uh, this is actually going to be a square prism. Excuse me, a square pyramid. 
That means the area is going to be area of the base is going to be a square. So my volume is going to be one third times area of the base times the height. So my area of the base this time is going to be psi times psi, right? Area of a square is psi times psi. Then I'm going to times the height of my prism. So that would just be one third times five times five times the height, which is 11 in this problem. All right, let's put that in the calculator. So I'm going to put my one third in the parentheses. It's a good habit. Always put fraction in the parentheses times five times five times 11 and round to near thousand. So that'll be 91.667. Right. That this time, uh, since we're dealing with volume, so that will be cubic centimeter. All right, this is a rectangular solid or rectangular prism because my base is a rectangle. I don't call it solid; I call it a prism. Okay, for this particular shape. So my volume is going to be area of the base times the height, which is going to be area of the base going to be length times the width times the height. So that will simply be 10 times 9 times the height 13, which is 90 times 13. All right. 1,170 cubic meter. All right. This is a right circular cylinder. So cylinder only get one formula. Again, volume is always area of the base times the height. Cone and pyramid has a one third in front. Sphere has four third in front. So for the area of my circular base, that's going to be pi r squared times the height. So let's see from this. So the 17 here is indicating from the center to any point on the circle is going to be 17. So that must be my radius. The 18 must be the height. So that will be 3.14 for pi times radius 17 squared times the height 18. Seventeen carat key raised into the second power, and then we times by 18. Alright, 16,334. Round to nearest thousands, so this is gonna be in that two eight. Okay, cubic meter. All right, cone, circular cone. Again, circular cone is one third times area of the base times the height. Since my base is a circle, there's only one formula for circular base, which is pi r squared for the area times the height. So again, this center of the circle is right here. So all the way to any point in the circle, the six centimeter got to representing radius. So I will put in, I will key in one third times 3.14 times six squared times the height, which is eight. All right, let's see what that is. One third times 3.14, oops, sorry. Times six raising to the second power times eight. 301.44 cubic centimeter. All right, let's try an example for sphere. So the problem tell me radius is 21 already. So volume for sphere is always four third times pi times radius to the third. So that will be four third times 3.14 times 21 to the third. So it's not 21 times 3, it's 21 times 21 times 21. So just be careful. 4 third times 3.14 times 21 raising to the third power. Round to near 1,000, so that will be 38,772. Point 0.72 cubic. Okay. All right, let's try some with the composite figures, okay? Again, by looking at this picture, this whole entire composite figure is made out of two different volumes or 
on the top, I have a look like I have a pyramid on top. Rectangular pyramid, as a matter of fact, because the base of that um, pyramid up top is a rectangular pyramid. And I'm going to add on to the volume that's below, which is actually a rectangular prism. All right, so let's write down the formula for pyramid. It's always one third times area of the base. The base is a rectangle, so that will be length times width times the height. Plus, for rectangular prism, that would just be area of the base, which is length times width, because I'm rectangle based, times the height. So let's write in all our numbers. One third times, uh, let's do the pyramid up here. All right, how long is this? Well, on the here in the bottom, Okay, the two bases, you know, for the rectangular prism is the same. So the length got to be five, the width got to be two, just like the bottom. Because the opposite, opposite sides are exactly the same for the two bases of my rectangular prism in the bottom. This base and top base are exactly the same. So the length of my pyramid up top got to be five, the width got to be two times the height, which is three, plus the rectangular prism down here, five by two, times the height, which is gotta be this five centimeter. All right, let's punch it in. You know what, I can do this quicker. I can. I know three and three will cancel out, right? That's 10 plus 50, 10 times, which is giving me 60. So I can put this in the cal quicker than do it by hand than put it in the calculator. All right, so my answer is 60 cubic meters. Let's try one more. Again, this is exactly the same problem as the previous one, just with a different number. All right, this is a rectangular, uh, again, this is a rectangular pyramid because my dimension of that top base, which is the same as the bottom, is a rectangle. So I'm just gonna copy exactly what I got up here. But I'm gonna use a different numbers. So this time for the <clears throat> rectangular pyramid up top is one third times length, 6.4 by five times the height, which is 9.2 plus, all right, the prison down here, 6.5, excuse me, 6.4 by five times the height, 8.2. All right, this one just gotta be careful when we enter it. See one over three times six point four times five times nine point two plus times five times eight point two. All right, four thousand eighty nine point six. cubic feet. Okay, so in this lecture video, we quickly take a look at the basic five um, geometric figure for volume, prism, pyramid, cone, circular cylinder, and sphere. And we just, you know, practice the formula a little bit, and we did a couple examples for the composite figure for the volume. All right. So that will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.